In this video, we're going to take a look at a video that was released by G. Craig Lewis of X Ministries. Now, in this video, he exposed Bishop J. Drew Sheard, and he even exposed his family. You don't want to miss this video. Let's go. Now, in this video entitled, Few Are Chosen, G. Craig Lewis goes and exposes, he actually exposes a lot of people, but I saw that he put special interest on Bishop J. Drew Sheard, Kojic, presiding bishop, in the name of Jesus. Uh, bishop J. Drew Sheard, uh, he exposed him and then kind of went down through there. Kind of went down through there with uh, Karen Clark shared, then went to Kiki shared. Uh, he just went all the way down through there with receipts, with receipts. This is not just speculation. And I've already done a video on Bishop J. Drew Sheard because we remember when he said uh, church shouldn't sound like the club. And I remember how proud I was. Come on, Bishop. Uh, church should actually not sound like the club i'm with you i'm i'm bishop i'm i'm with you and then he came back and kind of backtracked it and i was so sad because you know he made the statements i wasn't talking about bishop william murphy uh you know because that's when bishop william murphy had a lot going on and he's become the face of hip-hop and bad lyrics inside of the church right now and i thought that bishop j drew sheared because his mer his message was perfect for the time. I mean, it was a perfect word at a perfect time that we all who believe that the church should be separate from the world, uh, who all felt like we, we, we needed to hear that word. And with him being the presiding bishop of the Church of God in Christ, I thought, what? I mean, God, there is no greater person that could say this at the perfect time in the perfect place than Bishop J. Drew Shear. But then he backtracked. He even reached out to some social media influencers to try to explain his case. And that was sad to me. But let's go ahead and get into this video because I want to show you what's going on here. Let's go. I'm finna mess up right now. So I'm going to close my Bible and get ready to go to my seat because I'm finna mess up. Tell somebody he finna mess up. Mm -hmm. Because the noise, the no I'm going to tell you, it's a strange noise. Church. That's why I could I commended uh, Brother Dillard the other night because he got a church sound. Amen. He don't have a church look. I told y'all I'm finna mess up. Church. Yeah. Don't sound like the club. Come on, yeah. All right. Church. Don't sound like the nightclub. There's a unique sound in the church. And I can tell when it's an off sound because that sound don't do nothing but raise my flesh up. I want to encourage y'all to love yourself but you ain't on anybody else. Is that all right? Is that all right? How can I uh. love somebody else if I can? Now, I'm just showing this because he's going through there and showing uh, Kiki Sheard. Now, you know, which is to say, Bishop, when you made that statement, were you aware that your daughter was singing, had sung some songs that don't sound like the church? Were you aware? You know, it just it asked that question. Were you aware when you said what you said? Were you aware that your daughter have done this? And, and G. Craig Lewis went even further. He put the actual artist. Y'all see what he's doing here. He's got the artist on one side. Look at my mouse here. And he's got Kiara on the other side singing it verbatim. Um, uh. Oh, Lord. Come on. Come on, not the first lady. 
Listen, I'm quite sure her and Faith Evans have some sort of rela- relationship. That that don't those lyrics don't even sound like they go with the music, but whatever. I'm not there. But once again, Bishop, the church shouldn't sound like the club. Okay, let's keep it going. teaching everybody how to sing Faith Evans. Oh. Now, most likely this is a woman's conference, but I want y'all to notice something that G. Craig Lewis did. Why is this the church website down here? Greater Emmanuel Institute. Uh, I mean, this <laughs> the church website is right here at the bottom. You, you see it so clearly. This is a women's conference at the church, Bishop. At your church. I, I just don't believe they're promoting someone else's church with this, you know, even though that's his dog. I, I don't know. Uh, but it looks like that is the church that's at the church. Should we? Should we be dancing in our living room? Now listen, uh, I'm going to go ahead. <laughs> he got the lyrics on here, y'all. Listen to this. It says, I am every woman. Here are the lyrics. I can cast a spell. I never knew the lyrics to that. I can cast a spell. Secrets you can't tell. Mix a special brew. Wow, that sound all the way like witchcraft. Put fire inside of you. Anytime, I only know about Jeremiah saying it's like fire shut up in my bones but whatever uh put fire inside of you anytime you feel danger or fear then instantly i will appear i can sense your knees like rain onto the seeds i can make a rhyme of confusion in your mind come on and when it comes down to some good old-fashioned love i got it i've got it i've got it i've got it got it baby i listen uh, this is demonic and witchcraft. I'm going to go ahead and say it. That's that's what this is. Y'all see these words just like I do. Bishop, the church uh, shouldn't sound like the club. And G. Craig Lewis is putting you all the way out there because of what he's sharing right here. This is bad. Not church website right there. Come on. Survivor. Look like it's inside of the church again. Church website at the bottom. I. I wasn't even going. Listen, I want to go ahead because he went through several others as well. I I just want to take a look at that because G. Craig Lewis pulled out the video receipts. I mean, Bishop, I mean, he's saying if you're going to say it, say it. But here are the receipts, you know, and you need to be aware of what the receipts are before you say what you say, which helps me to understand why Bishop J. Drew Sheard may have been in such a hurry because he did it quick. And with him having the stature of the of the bishop of a worldwide organization, let's just be real. Church of God in Christ is not some fly by night of movement. This is a, a worldwide global uh, one of the largest uh, Pentecostal black Pentecostal movements. And uh, he's the leader of it. So when I saw him doing things like uh, he reached out to uh, Andre Redding. Now, any of y'all know him, y'all, y'all may not know his name, but you'll know him because all of his videos on YouTube starts with uh, things the black church are going to get mad at me about or upset with me about, but I'm going to say it anyways. Y'all, check this out. He always put his finger right there. <laughs> I love his videos. I'm just going to be real with you because he'd be exposing a whole lot of things that are, that are just crazy. Well, Bishop called him, uh, and I'll just be even more honest with you, which is what led to me going ahead and putting the number down here because some people may want to reach out. And since I put that number on there, that 844-762-1537, extension 1, People have started reaching out, uh, different pastors, even I've done videos, so I get it. A lot of them want to make their case. I understand. 
But Bishop reached out to him and said he wasn't talking about Bishop Murphy. He wasn't talking about. And I was just like, come on, Bishop. I believe that you should have just allowed everything to fall where it was going to fall. God used you to put a word out there that was needed. But I believe he was thinking about his family and knowing that they've sung some songs that they shouldn't have sung and different things. And he knew people was going to do what G. Craig Lewis is doing right now uh, by exposing that. But I, you know, this this is what do you think? I mean, what do you think? Does this I mean, this does this challenge uh, Bishop J. Drew Sheard's integrity? Uh, was he caught up in the moment and said some things that he just probably shouldn't have preached? Should we now question everything that he preached? You know, if this was politics, this would that's what they call flip flopping. You 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 flip flopping. You're going from one side to another, you know, based on whatever the ten temperature is. You change your clothes based on the temperature, um, which which is actually a normal thing. But if it's hot, it's hot. If you stand on what you stand on, stand on business, whether the weather changes or not. That's what you said. Well, this is not what Bishop J. Drew Shear did. And uh, I believe this is another thing because they have and I'm going to go even further. I believe that Destiny's Destiny's children, Destiny's child, uh, Beyonce, all of them, they probably know the Sheards. Uh, you know, Faith Evans, I know, knows the Sheards. And it may have been some level of friendship uh, tribute to him. But once again, Bishop, you said the club, the church shouldn't sound like the club. And uh, G. Craig Lewis put out there that your church been sound like the club for a little while. And so I want to know what you all think about it. Jump down in the comments and let me know what your thoughts are on G. Craig Lewis exposing Bishop J. Drew Sheard and the Sheard family. I, I want to know what your thoughts are. Jump in the comments and let's talk about it. Let's go.